Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at 35 different art channels that are the top art channels of this year 2021 and we're going to see if there are any helpful trends for us to grow our own art channels. Let's get started! Okay, so all of the YouTubers that we're going to look at, they had at least 500,000 subscribers, they um, had 80 or more videos, and they've been on YouTube for at least one year. We're going to be looking at a couple of things for the trends. First, we're going to look at the content. What type of videos are they posting? What are their videos about? We're going to look at their consistency. Are they posting, you know, like, um, um, how, how much are they posting per week, per month? And, you know, how many years have they been on YouTube? How many total videos do they have? We're going to be looking at their social media. Do they have Facebook? Do they have Twitter? Do they have Instagram? Um, you know, just seeing what social media apps they have we're also going to be looking at their um their branding and their marketing we're going to look at their channel name what they have as their image for their channel we're going to look at how they communicate with their audience how frequently and whether or not they have things like website to promote their brand I broke these top YouTube artists into three groups. The first group has 500 to 900,000 subscribers. The second group has 1 million to 2.5 million subscribers. And the third group has at over 2.5 million subscribers. At the end of the video, we're going to see the big reveal on um, who is the top YouTube artist. So maybe you can guess, but... Um, I, I feel like no one, unless you know this channel, you probably won't guess. So the big reveal is going to be at the end. In the 500 to 900,000 group, there are 13 total channels. And we're going to start off with Brad Colbo, who has 592,000 subscribers. Brad does technology reviews for digital illustrators, animation series about his personal life, blogs, and tutorials. He posts five times per month, or once per week, has 400 vi videos, and has been posting over seven years. He has an Instagram, Twitter, um, he uses his name as his channel name, has a drawn version of himself as his channel image, and his video style tends to be very entertaining, fast-paced, and straightforward. He has a website where he sells his own courses, and he regularly communicates with his audience in the community section of his channel. Next is Schaefer Art with 595,000 subscribers. He mostly does live streams but also does tutorials, lessons, and tip videos. He posts an average of three videos per month, has 174 videos, and has been posting over nine years. He has an Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. He uses his last name combined with the keyword art and has an image of his face for his channel. He also has a website where he gives people the option to receive newsletters, buy prints, and learn more about his work. He regularly communicates with his audience on his channel as well. Drawing and Painting, the virtual instructor has 622,000 subscribers. His videos are about drawing and painting lessons, and he does some live streams as well. He has an average of four times per month for his videos. He has 510 videos, and he's been posting for 11 years. He has a Facebook, Twitter, and a Pinterest. His channel name explains exactly what his channel is about, drawing and painting instruction. Um, he uses his face as his channel logo and has a website where he can connect with his subscribers. He also has courses and ebooks on his website. Next is Chloe Rosart with 640,000 subscribers. She mainly does reviews for craft kits but also shares some vlogs and art hacks. She posts an average of four times per month, has 219 videos, and has been posting over seven years. She has an Instagram, Twitter, and a Twitch. 
Um, she uses her real name with the keyword art for her channel and has a picture of her face. Um, she regularly communicates with her audience in the community section of her channel. Okay, let's take it up a notch with Ethan Becker, 700,000 subscribers. He mostly does critique videos on other artists' work, especially YouTube artists, um, but he also does some tutorials and drawing lessons. He used to be really unpredictable with his posting, but now does four times per month. Um, he only has 85 videos and has only been posting for two years. Um, he has an Instagram and a Tumblr. He has his real name with his face, of course, for his channel. And um, his videos tend to be very entertaining and he's very charismatic, doing funny things such as wearing sunglasses and having a broken cigarette in a lot of his videos. Alfonso Dunn is ahead of Ethan Becker with 740,000 subscribers. He exclusively does drawing tutorials for his channel and he probably used to post more frequently, but now he only posts around two times a month. And he has 318 videos and has been posting for nine years. He has an Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Dunn uses his real name and face for his channel. And his videos are very, um, very educational. He just jumps right into the content when you get there. And his videos are very calming and positive. Next is Psychro with 763,000 subscribers. They do speed painting, tutorials, and art lessons. They post consistently um, four times per month and have 569 videos. And they've been posting for 15 years. The only social, social media that they have is DeviantArt. Um, their logo has two circly things and they have their own unique channel name. I'm not sure how they decided on that name and I don't really know what Cypher means, but there it is and it works. Mark Burnett has 773,000 subscribers. He has art lessons, tutorials, speed painting, live streams, and a few vlogs. He posts around six times per month, has 285 videos and has been posting for 10 years. He has a Facebook as well as an Instagram. He uses a logo for his channel while using his actual name and he sells his art courses on QBrush and regularly talks with his audience on his channel. Next is Lethal Chris Drawing with 789,000 subscribers. He does how to draw tutorials, has guides, fan arts, and vlogging. He probably posted a lot more earlier, but now only does two times a month. He has 556 videos and he's been posting over nine years. He has a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as a deviant art. He uses his real face and his real name for his channel and has that keyword draw. Next is the Draw Their Life channel with 794,000 subscribers. This channel does drawing, um, the, this channel draws pictures of popular YouTubers and celebrities while giving their backstory and they do five videos per month. They have 216 videos and they've been posting for five years. They don't have any social media um, and for their logo they have the illustrated version of the channel name. Um, and I want you to again notice how that the channel has that keyword draw and they regularly communicate with their audience on the community section even though they don't have any social media. At number 11 we have Emily Kalia with 799,000 subscribers. She does speed drawing, time lapse videos, she has um, tutorials, step by step drawing videos of realistic art. She posts two times per month, has 138 videos, and has been posting over six years. She has both a Facebook and an Instagram. She uses her real name and a profile picture for her channel, and she has her own website. She also communicates regularly with her subscribers in the community section of her channel. Ahead of Kalia is CG Geek with 882,000 subscribers. 
He does Blender tutorials, tech reviews, and visual effects. He has 248 videos, posts two times a month, and has been posting over 10 years. He has a Twitter, Instagram, DeviantArt, and a Discord. For his branding, he uses his real face and um, has that keyword CG in his channel name. He regularly keeps up with his audience in the community section for his channel. The last one in this group is Mukta Easy Drawing at 990,000 subscribers. This channel does how to draw tutorials and drawing tricks. Um, they post five times per month, have 536 videos, and have been posting for only four years. Um, their only social media they have is Facebook, and uh, she uses her real first name with the keyword easy and drawing. She regularly communicates with her audience too. Got and see for all of these 13 channels that are, you know, within this 500,000 to 900,000 subscriber range. In the content, we can see that many of them do tutorials, reviews, speed painting, or speed drawing. They mostly post around four times a month, have 100 or more videos, and have been posting from two to eight years. All right, let's head over to our second group, which is going to be um, art YouTubers with one to 2.5 million subscribers. We are gonna start with Cassie Golden who has 1.1 million subscribers. She does drawing prompt videos, unboxing videos, as well as live streams. She has an average posting of five times per month, has 562 videos, and has been posting for four years. Um, her social media accounts are in Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Her channel image is an illustrated version of her face and she uses her real name for her channel. She has a very bubbly and quirky feel to her videos and mostly shows her hands during that time. Um, she has her own website where she sells her products and regularly communicates with her audience on her channel. Next is Fine Art Tips with 1.1 million subscribers. He posts five times per month has 561 videos, and has been posting over 11 years. He has a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and DeviantArt. He uses his profile picture for his channel and also has that key, those two keywords, fine art. And tips, which is exactly what he covers. He also has his own website. Bailey J also has 1.1 million subscribers. Um, she does vlogs, videos of her illustration work, art tool reviews, drawing challenges, and speed painting. So basically, a little bit of everything. Um, she posts around 8 times per month, which is a lot, uh, has 592 videos, and has been posting for 9 years. She has an Instagram, Twitter, and a Twitch. She uses um, an il illustrated profile picture and uses her own name for her channel. She regularly communicates with her audience and has a website where she sells her products. The Let's Draw channel has 1.2 million subscribers. They do videos where they turn words into cartoons. It's pretty cool. Um, this channel posts 10 times a month, has 821 videos, and has been posting for three years. There's no social media for this particular channel. Um, and for the branding, they have a, a drawn picture of a face and the keyword draw. All of these videos are done with um, the artist's hands, so that is their particular method. Next is Rapid Fire Art with 1.2 million subscribers. She does pencil drawing tutorials um, and posts one time per month. She has 59 videos and has been posting for eight years. Her social media account is on Pinterest and she uses her profile picture for her channel with the keyword art and she has her own website. Just ahead of rapid fire art is Ross Draws with 1.3 million subscribers. He does fan art, digital art tutorials, art challenges, art critiques, and a lot of videos of him doing his own digital art. 
He is posting um, around five times a month, has 246 videos, and has been posting over six years. He has a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and the DeviantArt. His channel has that keyword draws, and he uses his first name and his profile picture. He's very energetic and entertaining in his videos and regularly communicates with his audience. Ross has an official website where people can buy his prints and his products. Devon Rodriguez comes in at 1.4 million subscribers. He does a lot of short videos of himself drawing portraits um, of random strangers, especially on the subways of New York. Um, he posts five times a week, has 48 videos, and has been posting for only one year. Um, he has a Facebook, Instagram, as well as a TikTok. He uses his real name and his profile picture. He's been interviewed by a couple of news channels for his famous TikToks um, of him drawing on the subways, which probably helps a lot with his number of subscribers. Heather Rooney has 1.5 million subscribers. Her content is on realistic drawings. She posts two times per month, has 266 videos, and has been posting for nine years. She has a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and a Tumblr. She has a picture of herself for her channel and uses her real name. She also has a website. Next is Mei Yu with 1.6 million subscribers. Yu ha does how to draw videos, art challenges, and some animations of her life. Um, she posts five times per month, has 884 videos, and has been posting for 10 years. Her only social media account is on Instagram, um, and she uses her real name and profile picture for her channel. She also has her own website to sell her products and even has her own app. Another very popular artist with 1.6 million subscribers is Lavender Town. Her videos are of her drawing in her own art style, doing art challenges, and um, tutorials. She posts four times per month, has about 309 videos, and has been posting for five years. She has a Twitter, Discord, and Twitch. She um, has an illustrated profile picture, or it's actually a character that she created, and uses her real name for her channel. She regularly communicates with her audience and has her own comic. Face Drawer, How to Draw, comes in at 1.8 million subscribers. Um, this channel does how to draw videos. They post 12 times per month, that's a lot. Have 1,703 videos, that's a lot too. And have been posting for eight years. They have a Facebook as well as an Instagram account. Um, they have an illustrated word image for their channel and the, they use that keyword, draw. And the channel has a website and regularly communicates with the audience. Blender Guru comes in at 1.9 million subscribers. Um, he ha does tutorials of 3D blending software. He posts five times per month, has 279 videos, and has been posting for 11 years. Long time. Um, he has a Facebook, Twitter, and an Instagram. He uses uh, his profile picture and has that keyword blender um, for his channel, which, you know, that makes sense because his channel is about blending. And he also has a website and a podcast. Tuto Draw has 2 million subscribers. Their content is on drawing tutorials as well as supply demos. They post two times per month, have 546 videos, and have been posting over nine years. Um, the social media accounts are Facebook and Instagram. It has a very aesthetic image of a face with a pencil for the channel, and it has that keyword draw. Um, this art channel also has a website. Circle Line Art School also has 2 million subscribers. Their videos are on how to draw um, tutorials. They post four times a month, um, have 461 videos, and have been posting for nine years. They don't have any social media accounts, but they have a very nice pencil illustration for the channel image that uses the keyword art. Many of you have probably heard of the channel Proco, which has 2.3 million subscribers. 
this is a drawing and painting tutorials channel and um he posts seven times a month has 504 videos and has been posting for nine years um his accounts are facebook instagram and twitter his channel has an image of his face with his last name um and he also has a podcast and a website he regularly communicates with his audience on his channel as well so what are the trends for art youtubers who have around 1 to 2.5 million subscribers well for their content they all are doing tutorials speed painting or speed drawing and they all have um, consistent posting they post um, six times a month and have 200 or more videos and have been posting for a period of five to nine years and here we are the top of the top the cream of the crop the art channels that have 2.5 million or more subscribers First up, we have Marcelo Baringhi, who has 2.6 million subscribers. His content is on hyper-realistic drawings, and he posts around four times a month, has 581 videos, and has been posting for eight years. He does Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, TikTok, and Reddit. He uses a profile picture of himself and uses his real name. His videos just jump straight into the content, not a lot of talking, just drawing and great music. Um, he has his own website and keeps in touch with his audience frequently on his channel. Next up is Draw Too Cute with 2.8 million subscribers. This channel does easy how to draw tutorials, they post 20 times a month, have 1,588 videos, that's a lot, and have been posting for 8 years. Um, they have Facebook, Instagram, as well as a TikTok. Um, this artist has a drawn image of her face and has our favorite art keyword, draw, in her channel name. She regularly posts on her community section and has her own website. Many of you know Mark Crilly. He does anime and manga as well as cartoon drawing tutorials. He posts two times a month, has 792 videos, and has been posting for 14 years. He has a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as a DeviantArt account. His channel image is a picture of a face being drawn with a pencil, and of course he has his name as his channel name. He um, gives art instructional books that he sells on Amazon as well. Cartoon Club How to Draw is just ahead of Krilly with 3.1 million subscribers. They do how to draw videos, drawing challenges. Um, they post 20 times a month, that's a lot. 2,831 videos on their channel, that's so many. And they've been posting for eight years. They have Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. They have a cartoon profile picture of Batman and they use that keyword, draw, in their channel name. They raise money for children's hospitals, so that could really help with them getting subscribers and having such a large audience. Next is Art for Kids Hub with 5 million subscribers. They do how to draw tutorials and post 20 times per month. They have over 2,000 videos and have been posting for 10 years. Their social media is Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. They make it clear, you know, who their videos are for, which is kids, by having that keyword in there. They also have that keyword art. Um, they use um, a, a channel image of an illustrated pencil, paintbrush, as well as a marker. And they have their own website with a blog. You know, as we go up this list, a lot of you will probably know, you know, more and more of these, who these channels are. A lot of you probably know Jazza, who has 5.6 million subscribers. He does tutorials, speed painting, live streams, and art competitions. He posts 10 times per month, has 1,227 videos uh, currently, and has been posting for 10 years. He uses Facebook and Twitter. Um, he has an illustrated version of his face for his channel and has come up with a unique name, Jazza, for his YouTube channel. 
um, which is not actually his real name, but it's very unique and it works. Um, he has a website as well where he sells his own products. And I know what you're thinking now, isn't Jazza the top? artist isn't he the top youtuber well um i'm sorry but you're wrong he's actually the second top art youtuber well that i know of anyway coming in at number one the top of the top of these youtube artists is farjana drawing academy at a whopping seven million subscribers she does her videos on how to draw tutorials um, and just videos of her drawing. That's that's it. She has 692 videos and has been posting over six years. Um, her social media accounts are Twitter and Instagram, and she uses a variation of you know our favorite art keyword draw, and uses her real first name for her channel. Okay, so what we can see within these channels that have 2.5 million to 3 million subscribers for the content, all of them have some form of drawing tutorial and for the consistency, they all have 500 or more videos and they all have a minimum of 6 years to, you know, maybe 14 years at the most. The overall trends that I'm seeing in channels from 500,000 um, all the way up to that top channel are, you know, for content, they all have some form of drawing tutorials, reviews, speed painting, drawing um, videos. Um, the consistency is at least two times per month with the top being around 20 times posting per month. Um, for the social media, Instagram is the most used among these artists. But uh, Facebook and Twitter are tied in the second place after Instagram. Um, and for the, the branding, they have these art keywords. The top two art keywords that I'm seeing among these, these successful artists is either art or draw. Some form of draw, like drawing, draws, something like that, and then art. And um, if they don't do that... They use their full name or they use a combination of their name and one of those keywords. If you would like for me to do a video that analyzes the top animators on YouTube, let me know in the comments down below. It's really important for us starting, you know, YouTube artists to analyze these top, um, these top YouTubers and see what is trending and what is doing well on YouTube, what viewers actually want so that we know what to put on our channels. Um, uh, I don't know if I got all of the top YouTubers, but these were just some of the ones that I found. I left a link in the description below if you want to see um, the source that I got many of these YouTube um, artists from, and you can study from that if you want. But that is all for today, artists. I really hope that your channel, if you have one, is starting to grow and grow. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, what are you doing? Get your YouTube channel. I'm waiting to subscribe and look at your content, okay? So, okay, artists, keep dreaming big, keep living bold, and keep on creating. I'll see you next time.